This playthrough is rated E for everyone. All right, time to finish off Dracula once and for all. Man, this game was kind of short. Didn't expect to just immediately get to uh, Dracula at this point. Man, well, I, ho I hope you enjoyed me playing this game. But uh, but yeah, now that we've got uh, Grant and I've got the axe, I can actually be a bit more efficient at this before. So yeah, you just run, hit him in the head and do that. And if you're close enough with Grant, you can usually hit fireballs. Or if you throw the axe uh, in just enough of a place, you can basically just eliminate his attack pattern completely. So... I mean, obviously I didn't have the axe at the time when I did this, and I was trying to do it with the Trevor with the knife, which is fine, but I don't like how in this game, like, all the sub-weapons are useful in certain fights. That's probably one of the biggest problems I have with Super Castlevania, is because the whole, in that game, you can multi-directional the whip, and basically it makes a lot of sub-weapons kind of pointless, and yet people say it's, like, one of their favorites, which is a good game, it's just... Like, well, then why have sub-weapons if you can make the whip go in different directions? And yes, realistically, it makes sense for the whip to do that. But, you know, I mean, it's a game mechanic. I mean, otherwise, if the game mechanic doesn't work, change it. You know, that type of thing. Anyway, this guy's almost dead with a bunch of axes to his brain. All right. Dracula's defeated. Time to see the end of the game. Man, this was short and easy. I thought this game was harder. <laughs> oh, man. Just, uh... Wipe my hands of this whole situation. All right. Time to go home, get some beer, clean the curse. You know. Um, and I don't know what else to do with my life after all that. So, yeah. Oh, wait, what the? What's going on there? It's a man. Well, it's a vampire, but... Uh, wait, you're not trying to kill me anymore? But you attacked me, so... Uh, I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. I need you to help me destroy Dracula. What will you do? We can take him with him or leave him behind. If we take him with him, we we uh, drop off Grant and he does whatever, which if this game was remade today, they'd probably leave the ability to use all party members as soon as you unlock them. Kind of like with Bloodstained when they did that retro game of theirs. Same concept where you could just switch between them. Um, but nope, we have to choose between them. So this is Alucard, Dracula's son, or Dracula spelled backwards, obviously. Um, I, per I, I don't know, I kind of like this version of him a bit more, mainly because he's kind of your classic vampire. Kind of looks like, you know, the son of Bela Lugosi type of situation, you know, black, slicked hair, and all that, especially if you look at some of the old concept art of him. But now, Alucard's your typical anime, blonde hair protagonist type of character. I mean, I, I mean, in the anime, he's fine. It's just, you know, I kind of wish they'd stuck with this design of him, but I guess they wanted to, the Japanese wanted to make their own version of him unique enough to where it's their own mythology and not based off European, despite them taking this off European mythology. Anyway, we're going to leave him behind. Yeah, Trevor goes, no! Well, I'll have to find someone else. Please be careful. Even though realistically we could, you know, work together. But anyway, Alucard, his ability is, uh, he can raise his, like, when he attacks, he basically raises his cape and shoots a fireball, kind of like what he did in combat. Which, weird enough, I don't think he does that ever in the PlayStation 1 game. <clears throat> At least, I don't remember. I could be wrong. But I don't remember Alucard ever being able to do that as one of his magic spells. Well, actually, maybe there is a magic spell. It's been forever since I played Symphony of the Night. One day, I'll do that. But for now, we're playing uh, Castle... Actually, yeah, we're playing Castlevania 3. So, whoop. Yeah, we got breakaway blocks here, so be careful. Be careful, man. Be careful. And yeah, just just move forward. Otherwise, I think the I think those mummies keep spawning. I believe. So you want to make sure to just keep moving. So. No. I don't want the. De uh, oh no! I wanted the boomerang. Dang it! All right, fine. There is a breakable wall under me, but I think it has a heart under it, if I recall. So, dang it! I like the boomerang more than the knife, just because it comes back to you. Yeah, this whole area is just gonna have mummies up the wazoo. I mean, maybe it's possible to kill all the mummies, but I don't think so. I think they just keep swanning over and over and over again. Until, uh, you know, until you're just done with it. Okay, just need to... Ah, dang it. Well, that was a bad call right there. What is... What is on that? What is that, like... Candle there? Why, I, I mean, it's possible to get it because you'd have to drop down, but... Anyway, let's continue on. Yeah, that was a short area. <laughs> it's just supposed to be a transition area, so... Alright, so we can either go two different ways. We can either go the south way, which is the long way, or we can go the shorter way, this way. I'm going to go the long way, because why not? Let's have fun. And it's one of those where you have a boss in the middle, and then you continue on, so... Yeah, let's go to the ruins, or whatever it is. The ruins. Yeah, and we actually do something different in a platformer. We go a different direction. We go to the left. This actually kind of freaks me out, man. And I love the music for this one. Oh, all the... I mean, all, almost all the music in Castlevania is awesome, even in some of the subpar um, handheld games. 
At least to me personally, anyway, so. I don't know, I'm trying to think of the really a soundtrack that I really, really despise. I mean, I, and I forgot the original um, person who did the music for the game, but, uh, you know, kudos to them. But anyway, if we play as Grant, do, 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 skip the level. Yeah, this is one reason why you might keep Grant out of every. Actually, if you play Alucard, you could do that too with his bat form. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, Alucard has a bat form where if you, it uses hearts and he can basically just fly along the level. So technically, I guess he's better, but Grant doesn't use hearts when he uses his climb ability. So, you know, uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> I hate when this happens. Yeah, this happens every once in a while where uh, um, if you, you can, you want to jump off or move and you get stuck on the ladder. Oh, stop it. I'm trying to use the sub weapon on him. And uh, I keep getting a. Uh, um... Yeah, come on, come on. Oh no! Stop it! Stop it! I can't! I can't! I can't not have that happen. I mean, if, as long as I stay here. Whoa! I probably could have ducked with Grant to avoid that. So there we go. We. I mean, I probably could avoid him. Ah, oh, what man? There goes all my money. Bury me with my money. And we're about to die too because I got took all that cheap damage. Holy. Oh well. But yeah, Grant can just bypass levels. It's awesome. I, don't, I mean, why can't you not like Grant for that? There's quite a few levels that you can do that with, with Grant if you uh, know what you're doing. And we got Merman around here, so. Better call Aquaman here. He'll, he'll get rid of them. Uh oh, bat. Uh, no! Not the knife. Well, actually, knife's fine. It's just, like I said, Boomerang's clearly the better sub weapon just because it comes back to you. You know, if it didn't come back to you, then, uh, you know. That's the only problem. There are a few redundant um, sub weapons. Although, I guess the, the problem with the Boomerang is that, you know, you have to wait for it to come back unless you have the numbers abilities, you know, the ones where it powers up because then you can shoot multiple Boomerangs. With the dagger, it just comes, as soon as it goes off screen, you know, you can, uh, Sorry, I'm just trying to pay attention there. Mainly because I'm, you know, about to die, so. Um, you can, you know, hit daggers pretty quickly back to back. With a boomerang, you have to wait for it to return, unless you, like I said, have those buffs. Dang it. Uh, it was such a habit of me to just jump into candles, you know what I mean? I mean, the axe is good, too, in its own way, so. Uh-oh. Actually, that probably would have been a good place for the boomerang. Hit it a couple times. Yep. Sorry, sometimes if I stop talking, I'm like, because I'm like about to die, so I'm like, uh, yeah, you know, type of situation. Sorry, give me another. I'm actually kind of surprised in this level how, how few like, like normal enemies are around here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I know I could hit him with a whip. Yeah. I, I just wanna, I wanna not die. I wanna at least get to a room, or at least get to the boss, where um. Oh yeah, I guess I could have climbed up that thing over there. Just to, you know, I don't know, save me some time. I don't know. Eh, man. Clock's good, but in only when it... Clock's good for sub... sub uh, enemy... or uh, minor enemies. Not really for bosses. At least that's how I feel, anyway. Well, and I, I think the clock doesn't work on most bosses, if I recall, so... Um, do I want to extra this part? Well, I'm gonna die anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, I know you can hit the fireball, but it doesn't matter. I'm kind of hoping I get enough money to get a level, or level, HP, but, uh, alright, we're about to fight the boss, so. Yeah, big old, big old skeleton dude. And we got slowed down because of the, you know, until we kill, no, oh, until we kill more of him, then it's a little bit nicer, so. Oh, whew. And this is like one of the few times where if you fight a boss, he's uh, it doesn't immediately end the level, if that makes sense. Nope. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, no. What the? Uh-oh. Well, then. Caused a bit of a water flood there. Uh, dude, you need to check your pipes. 
I think you have a bit of a flooding issue. Are you going to finish anytime soon? I don't want to drown. Grant, I think we're going to get to higher ground. Woo! Yeah. So, yeah, we don't... Oh, are you kidding me? A bat killed me? I feel... I feel pathetic. Uh-oh. Water's rising. Yeah, we have to... We have to move. Otherwise, we will die. I can't believe that bat killed me. I survived everything up to a random bat. It's like... It's like the game's making fun of me or something like that. It's like... Oh, got you. But yeah, you have to be careful. Whoa. But anyway, if we uh, play as Grant, though, we can... Uh... Oh! Sometimes Grant will not jump um, or grab stuff, depending on what it is. So I shouldn't have jumped into the water, because that's basically what I did. So, oh well. Yeah, I hope... I mean, all that work, and I might have to redo this whole the whole level again, just because, you know, died back to back there. But that's Castlevania for it, and... Uh... I said Castlevania 3 is one of the harder ones, so. Oh, we got another life. Nice. Yeah, good thing for that. Alright, let's see if we can grab the, uh, the thing this time and not, like, not fall. Oy. Yeah, sometimes, I'll admit, sometimes Grant's, uh, c um, uh, concept stuff is a little wonky, you know. Because sometimes he won't grab it, and that's just how it is. So, oh, well. It's one of those weird, weird mechanics that... Oh, I could have... Yeah, I don't know why I went right. The whole point of doing that was to save me time. That's the whole point of Grant. He saves you time and levels. Uh, exploration, yeah. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah, you're not going to get me this time, Bat. I, I'm, I'm on to you, Bat. What the... Oh, never mind. I was like, why did my HP go down? I was like, no, wait, that's the dragon thing. Yeah, we have to kill him fast, otherwise we will... There we go. Die, die, faster, die faster, die faster. Whew. <laughs> yeah, you can actually get drowned. If that water touches your feet, you die instantly, so that's just how it is. Yeah, and we destroyed whatever that was by going that direction, so. What the? Yeah, we go to we go through Castlevania. Because we fell, like, we had to go through the flooding part or whatever. We go through Castlevania, uh, through Castle Dra Dracula's Castle, Castlevania. Which, I think they changed that later, because originally it was just the title was supposed to be just, like, whatever. But then they decided to say, hey, let's, uh, let's make, let's actually name the castle. Uh, Castlevania or whatever, so yeah, technically that's the canon name of Ca Dracula's Castle's Castlevania, which is kind of silly, but whatever. Alright, unfortunately we got a room here we basically have to wait on, so. So, we're just gonna have to play the waiting game. But, yep. I mean, I can climb up and try to get there as fast as I can, so master, master the climbing art of Grant Dynasty. At least I believe... Yeah, I think Grand Dynasty is his full name, so... They did a really weird interpretation of him in the Castlevania Judgment game. That was a uh, um, a fighting game that they had all the characters of Castlevania fight each other in, like, a one-on-one -on -one thing. That was a weird game. And the way they portray Grant and the, their concept art of it is, uh... Yeah, a bit weird, so... You should check it out if you want to see some interesting uh, ideas behind what, you know, their interpretations of the Castlevania characters in a fighting game, you know. The game itself was, if I recall, okay. I don't remember it being anything fantastic. I just remember they did had some pretty good renditions of the songs in it. And, I mean, some of the character concepts were interesting, like how they portrayed Sypha, for example. Because Sypha was supposed to represent just, like, this kind of spirit, like gypsy romani type of situation and uh um but in the game she was portrayed as like this european like noble woman you know with a um with huge tracts of land as they say uh, it was interesting and yeah what they did with grant was a uh, just even crazier but as we continue on through this uh you know ship or area underneath dracula's castle uh, that I'm surprised that didn't that hit me. Or I, I'm surprised... Well, I was about to say, I'm surprised this guy didn't hit me. 
And then, you know. Anyway, another waiting puzzle. So we just have to wait for all the blocks to fall. So. Oh well. They'll eventually come down. Yeah, the challenge with this one is just hopefully the... Uh, uh, these guys keep respawning after a while. And obviously less time to... I, I might be able to actually make that with Grant. Hopefully. Uh, there we go. Alright. Yep. Grant like I said, Grant's awesome, man. Don't don't disregard the Grant, you know. Now I don't think people hate Grant as much as I'm I'm egging on. I just like making fun of the fact that most people tend not to use um Grant most often when it comes to most uh um character playthroughs. Actually a lot of people do it. Actually play them on uh, do it without a party member. Because, I mean, Grant uses the same life bar as you, so, you know, whoops, actually, or not. Oh, I was actually about to say, let's just, all right, let's try this again. Yeah, it changed in mid. Aw, oh, man, come on. That's so stupid. <laughs> Could have jumped out of the way or something. You know, I'm just gonna axe him. I don't know why I'm not doing this. Just, just axe him. I was trying. I was trying to be clever, folks. But no, can't be clever in Castlevania. You have to just play the game and listen to the, the music. Yeah, I like the fact that there's just enough good, like, I don't know, hype music, and then enough. Um... There we go. There's enough hype music, but there's also enough, like, kind of, uh, I think I'll keep with the holy water for now. But there's also enough action music and enough creepy music there, too. What the? Another bat? Well, we fought your kind. We already fought you. Yeah, apparently this game has a, has a re reskin of uh, bosses. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, really? This game? Like, Castlevania has reskins? But, uh, you know, that's just how it is. Anyway, yeah, we beat him. It's just a a mini boss so. yeah I mean you saw through when you saw the the map um, it showed it showed bo multiple bosses so yeah this is one of those levels that is another mid mid boss so yeah, this game's doing a lot of things that the uh, ow actually probably the easiest way to like probably avoid all these is probably climb under the uh, uh, the rocks there but eventually yeah I'm not a big fan of this uh, section to tell you the truth it's because the blocks like a like immediately like are on you like it's kind of ridiculous you know maybe I should try grant or something like that maybe maybe if I uh not like keep myself like, in an area like this and then wait for it to go up so yeah I can't believe I almost died just from these stupid blocks you know that's always the thing about certain games where your skill level is that you think you're like okay I I, I survived all this, and then all of a sudden you die to like stupidity, so, or lack of uh, lack of skill. You know. Of course, I was making it harder on myself when you think about it. I mean, I could have easily found a pattern to um, not get hit by it, but uh, yeah, another. Unfortunately, these levels are kind of waiting games. And I did skip by one of the more well-known levels in the game, the the pirate ship or whatever. Because if you go through the path I went to, you basically skip the ship, which is a two-parter as well. But the cool thing about that is if you play as Grant, you can skip half that level too. So I don't know. I think if you're if you're speed running, you probably well actually if you're speed running, you probably don't want to choose Grant because um, because uh, um, you have to go out of your way to get Grant. If you at least if you go towards a uh, oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> Oh, no. No. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. No, this is Castlevania. Of course I can believe it. Uh, maybe I should uh, fast forward this, like, past this part, because really not much else I can really talk about that this, this level specifically. I can't believe I lost two lives back to back. That is so dumb. And, I'm, and I'll have to redo the whole level again with that. I'll just skip it if I do. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pain you people for that. Although I know there's people that can play this like legit and they'll die and they'll just redo the level on screen, but uh, I'm not I'm not streaming, you know. I'm I'm doing these episodically, which means I can do it however I want. In which this case is, I'll play a level through once and then skip because otherwise, I mean, I, I assume people who stream probably if they watch the same, they probably skip it past the redo unless the 
player, unless the streamer is like super interesting. But I don't watch streams, so I have no idea how that really works. Um, I don't. Yeah, you think me making a game about like me playthrough in games, you think I'd watch them too, and I I really don't. Like I just do this as a hobby. You know, if people watch my stuff, great. If not, I completely understand. Because you know, we only have so much time, and uh, on this planet, and uh, perhaps I don't want to watch you know someone else play a game. Maybe I want to play that game too, but. Uh, yeah, you know, for those who find entertainment with not playing the game but watching it, and there is an entertainment with that. I mean, heck, sports is a thing. You know, watching football and baseball, football, baseball, soccer, American soccer. You know, um, that's its own. It's its own interest. You know. Okay, now you're pattering in a way I do not like, where you like put these blocks back to back, and I don't like that. Yeah, that's not how you're supposed to work, game. I do not appreciate this. So. I don't know how it changed that pattern all of a sudden. Like it was, it worked fine before, and then all of a sudden it uh, changed its setup. And we're getting close. I could get that flame, but I'm not going to. And like I said, I'm probably will end up probably end up having to redo this anyway. So at least it's eventually going up there. And we're almost there. Only a few more, a handful of more blocks. Too bad they're not Legos. Lego, my ego. Can I make that? Oh, there we go. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, that sucked. That sucked hardcore. Uh-oh. Woo. Actually, maybe I should stick as Grant because he's got the sub-weapon right now. Man, that still peeves me off for... No! Not after all the hard work. Get out of here. Stupid red skeletons. Yeah, they keep coming back too, so. Need myself a heal. Yeah, these spiders will summon spiders. No! No, no, no. Yeah, ah, no! No! Not the crows. Okay. Whew. Okay. Sub weapon, don't fail me now. Hey ya! Actually, nope. Of course not. Of course not. Game? Okay. I was about to say, is the is the platform gonna form? I think, if I recall. I swear there's something here. I don't know if it was me. Oh well, I'll, I'll take that. I actually do need a one-up. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we're almost at the boss of this place. At least not too far off anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> Screw this noise. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna avoid half the level. Halfway there. Ah. Alright, yeah, we got Medusa heads here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you don't have to fight everything in this game. And you probably should. At least I can duck with uh, duck with Grant. And he's, he's small enough that his hitbox is a bit different. Not by much, though. Oh! That was actually, that was actually really close. Yep. In the door. I mean, there could have been a health among, above the door. There have been a couple levels where you've had health like right above it. So, uh oh. Don't poke your sword at me. That's don't make that vulgar. Gross. I got more. I got more speeders. Better not drop down on top of me. There you go. Got some more knights around here. Man, now, now I'm in uh, now I'm in uh, a anxiety mode where I'm just like, one more hit, man, one hit, that's all it takes. And you know the the uh, ceiling is coming up on or the floor is trying to crush me. I don't know how that works mechanically, or well, I know how that works mechanically. I don't know how that works realistically. You know, like how is the floor? I mean, is the could you say it's the like the the ceiling collapsing on itself or something like that? Whew. Okay. I guess I could have, uh, oh man. I guess I could have used Grant to bypass all this stuff. And you have to be careful about an enemy popping up like, yeah, like there, so, for example. Could have easily have, uh, done damage. That's why you don't want to just, like, jump up as soon as you can, you know. Just in case. Oh, we got two paths. Um, let's go this way. Uh, of course I chose the wrong path. Why wouldn't I have gone the right path? Hmm. Alright then. We'll have to do that again. 
Oh boy, too bad I can't go back and get that life. So we're 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 sticking to it, man. Yeah, I should have gone the other way, but I was I was like, you know what? I had a feeling. But like I said, it's been forever since I played this game, so I actually don't remember every single path and, and variation of it, so. Yeah, hope I, I was about to say, I hope I get another um, whip extension. Too bad Grant doesn't have anything like that where you can uh, get like, maybe get something that makes them faster or something like that. I guess the idea is they didn't want the companions to be better than, than uh, Trevor in terms of like what he can do. Because obviously there's got to be reasons to play as Trevor, which there is. I mean, the whip is one of the better just straight up basic weapons in any game because of its range, you know. All right, I could have used the axe, but I didn't want to. I didn't want... Oh, no! Yeah, I gotta climb... I mean, I could have switched to Grant to climb if I really, really wanted to, so... But no, I did not want to switch to Grant. Grant gets enough screen time as it is. He's the best character, by the way. I mean, Alucard would have been good for this spot, too, just because he could turn to a uh, bat. Yeah, good thing, though. Ground ends. Uh, there we go. Whew. All right. Yeah, I should have gone with my first instinct. You know, oh, we got Axe guy here. He's gonna ask us a question. He's gonna keep backing up too, like a little pansy. But luckily we can just slow him down. All right, we got ourselves the boss here. So, um, I don't want to do this. Man, I kind of wish I'd given Grant the axe. Now that I think about it. Oh well. Because there's a way to like basically kind of um, save yourself from this boss to say, you know, like do like get less damage to happen to you but luckily we can if we plant we plant it right we can um, yeah unfortunately he's got multiple forms yeah if I p could play as Grant I would just be jumping up here you know to get away from these guys so I could like but since I don't have the axe, I can't do that, you know. Oop. Well, at least, uh, doing... Well, he's gonna come back, so... The only problem with doing it this way is it severely slows down the fight, if that makes sense. Because then you're, uh, always having to switch back to Grant to climb. And, oh! You know, you got me there, buddy. You, you, you tricked me. You got me. I was actually about to drop as soon as it... But his AI is a bit weird. And you had to fight three enemies here too, so that's the danger on that. So I know it's easier just to like um, just jump over him, but the thing is, he can do that charge ab ability. Uh, okay, we got this. Well, actually, I might still die just because I took way I took I was about to say I took way too much damage from uh, those mummies. But can we prevent ourselves from taking more damage for those mummies? Can we get to uh, Castle Dracula to the main proper and fight Dracula himself? Find out next time in the next episode of Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.